We are the champions, my friends. You copyright. Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video in To the Promised Land series with Rutherfield FC. My name is Riley, and today's video we have, well, first off, I have made it all the way down until the end of the season. Like I said previously, I was just going to play through. Um, unless something drastically changed, which it didn't, we continued to win a lot. And you can tell in February, March, and April, there's not a lot of matches. So I did a lot of friendlies, just to keep us informed. But in this video, we will be playing in the Montgomery Challenge Cup Final against Rafi 2, who are in the Mid-Sussex Football League Championship. So realistically, we should not have an issue with them. And again, you can probably guess, we have been promoted. We have won the league. Uh, as you can see, we only drew once, and that was the game in the last video. Uh, also, the goal difference was 85. Our points was 76 compared to 13 and 49. Like The difference between us in second place and the rest of the league was astronomical. Feels good to win though, that's for sure. So, and as you can see here, top goal scores. It's pretty, <laughs> pretty one-sided if you ask me. It looks like even Jamie Guy finished third in that contest, and he played twelve times. Then again, Brandon Tavener, fourteen and one, and he has twenty-five goals. And Jack Dowdy, with twenty-two appearances, had twenty-six. So essentially, nine of our players were in the top 10, which is ridiculous. And when you look at average rating, it's literally our entire squad. 17 players were ahead in that as well. And assists, yeah, we had quite a few players. Other than that, it looks like we're at the top at literally everything. So we've been promoted. Uh, with that comes some changes. We have a wage budget now because we have been, or it, the board has determined that we are eligible and should be a semi-professional squad. So there we go. But we have no money yet. No money because we have no income. So, yikes. But hopefully we do get something for winning the league and hopefully winning something for winning this competition. So now that we have actual money going out, regularly it would be nice if we actually had a paycheck or some kind of revenue source coming in because we are in the negative right now which is not ideal uh what else what else so yeah let's just take a look at what they had here we set an unbeatable we set a record uh 30 games unbeaten yada yada uh 25 wins in a season is a new team a little bit of a glitch there, looks like. Record low number of wins, 25. I think it actually meant like record high. This one's record low number of defeats. League defeats for Rutherfield, zero. That is good. Uh, we only drew once, which is a big deal. Okay. Th this is pretty, pretty glitchy. Record low. We had 107 goals. I don't think that's supposed to be low. And 76 points, oh, whatever. They're being very dramatic about that. Because, anyways, we have we had a great season. We, yeah, like I said, we got promoted. We're going to be in the Southern Combination Premier League now. So we're in level 10. Um, I'm hoping that we move through that quickly as well. Because I feel at this point, we just need to get as high in the pyramid as quickly as possible. So that's what we're going to be trying to do here. Uh, so... Like I said, in this video, we are going to play the final, the Montgomery Challenge Cup final. And then we'll do a quick season review. Uh, Transfer-wise, it's we do free transfers, so there's it's not like a transfer special. But we'll do a quick season review after that match. And yeah, we'll jump right into the next season after that. So stay tuned for more to come. We have finally made it to the end of the season where we will be playing in the Montgomery Challenge Cup 
as you can see, it is a big crowd for us. 160 tickets are expected to be sold. That is awesome. We are the firm favorites, which is great. Uh, it's very historic for us as in our 128 year history, we have not played it before. So there you go. Let's hold a little uh, meeting with the with the boys. Um, they all hate me. Nothing is reasonable ass out of us right now. Are you serious? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. We literally went undefeated in the league and then they get upset with us, with me, when I do not relieve. Really, really, Relieve pressure on them. I I don't I don't I don't understand what they were expecting there. Of course. Uh. Yeah, I'm not talking to you right now. We are gonna play. So since our change to a uh, semi pro team, I've been updating the contracts with a lot of our key players just to make sure that they can't be bought. For free so a lot of part-time contracts going out which is good um but a lot of our other players that aren't on those contracts are being heavily pursued like oh, i can't think of what player it was but he had like a hundred different offers <laughs> and I, I don't know if they were for money or for what but he was getting a lot of offers which is great for him but I tried to snatch up players that I wanted to keep in the squad that had potential, both currently, current ability was strong, and also uh, potential ability um, players for the present and for a little bit of the future. But we will continue to pick up players as we go. But I would like to, obviously, moving forward, pick up less players and kind of try to develop the guys that I have. And there are a few players that I think will be able to carry forward uh, for carry forward into our future promotions and whatnot. So, so here we go. We're finally here. <coughs> Excuse me. We're finally here. Um, I don't know if I agree with that. Playing taxi. What? What's what? What's wrong with Ollie Hunt? Tired. I like Ollie Hunt there. Anyways, so let's take a look at what we have here for players so taverner and daldy jamie guy got sold well he left he wanted starting like star player status and everything else it's like eh, no so taverner and daldy up top collier and francis i believe they're all on contract aluk on me and caldicott stevens why is morris upset like, who did this, man? And blah, 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 blah. then we got Ollie Hunt, Hal, Blackwell, Miller, and Pierce. Uh, center back is definitely still a position that needs addressing because Hal is like 39 or something crazy like that, 33 maybe. I don't know. He's older, and Blackwell is young and has great potential, but we're not there yet. I want to pick up where he left off last time. Yeah. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that stuff. Look at that huge turnout we have. 160 tickets. Look at that. There's people and there's some green there and some red. Beauty. Love to see it. So let's go. Let's see if we can win our first trophy. Well, you know, we, we won the league, but I'm talking about like first actual like trophy outside of winning the league. So here we go. They have the first highlight. They are just passing it about, but Colty God Stevens. Picks it, picks it up, goes to Miller, who's our new vice captain, by the way. And Francis now with room to go, and he shoots and scores. Wow, that ball had pace on it with that shot. Dan Francis puts us up 1-0 with only three minutes in. Yeah, Caldy caught to Miller. Like I said, Miller is our new vice captain. Um, Howell is able to be promoted to captain because Jamie Guy is gonzo. Um, they were recommending that Tackley. <laughs> it's going to be vice captain, but I think Tackley is also on his way out. 
Uh, they have a free kick here, and they put it in the back of the net. Gary Banks with the absolute wonder goal there. Fierce man. Should save that. Let's look at it again. Yeah, he reacted super late to it, but it's a great shot. All right, here they go again. They have another chance here to uh, oh, Miller, our vice captain. Ugh. Brings the, the man down inside the box. Now Pierce can redeem himself from that last uh, set piece. And nope, sent that complete opposite direction. Yikes. Daryl Sills with the penalty and the goal. So in 10 minutes, <laughs> we're down 2-1. In typical non-league fashion, lots of goals being scored in this one. It is a very interesting final, I'm sure. But uh, Hal to Blackwell. Blackwell to uh, Daldi, who goes back to Alukonmi, who goes wide to Collier, who's able to keep the ball in bounds. He crosses it into Daldi, and Daldi puts in the back of the net, ties the game. Again, in 10 minutes. There's literally been four goals in 10 minutes. Two of them happening in the last 30 seconds. Beauty header, though, from Daldi, who I've been able to sign for the next uh, couple of years. So, great for us. Great cross by Collier, too. And that defender probably should have been able to do something, but uh, his loss, I guess. All right, so we continue on. And here they go. Gary Banks again. He crosses it in, and Miller's able to get it out without causing any incident. Uh, Collier now has room to go. He is running down the left side of the field. He is going still, and he shoots. Oh, I thought that was going in, but Coney is able to uh, make the easy save. It should have been an easy save, but I thought they were going to do that thing where they somehow still score off of that. So, interesting enough, their XG is actually higher than ours. So, Oh, there we go. The, the skipper himself uh, decides to add to the point total with uh, a beautiful header from Richard Hal, our recently appointed captain. Yeah, that was a nice header. The, yeah, I'm happy with it. There's been a lot of highlights in this match. Holy cow. Colby got Stevens, boots it downfield, and he's able to find Daldi. Nope, Sills is able to pick it up. And they uh, are trying to attack down the field. Francis, unable to get the ball. Uh, Quigley goes wide. Colby got Stevens, unable to get the ball back. Jadama, Jadama goes to Sills. And they're trying to build up play here. Looks like they're going to go wide. Banks is going to go. And Mitford is able to keep the ball in. And he crosses it in front of goal. And boom. Yeah, it looks like just off the post. We got lucky there, boys. We got lucky. Man, there's been a lot of highlights. And their XG is still double R's, which I am surprised by. All right. Ignore that. All right. They have another chance here. Huswick. Alukami is able to clear it, but not totally the safety as Sills picks it up again. Hal heads it clear to Collier. Collier goes back to Ollie Hunt. Ollie Hunt kicks it downfield to Taverner. It goes to Daldi, and it looks like Taverner there was held up a little bit and was un unable to make the run off the header from Daldi, but here we go with another chance. Daldi again. Daldi at the ball to Taverner. Taverner has Collier out wide. Nope, but Taverner shoots from range and scores his 30th goal of the season, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful, beautiful screamer from what's his face? Taverner. Forget his first name. Ignore that, please. I want to uh, see the highlight and its full range. Beauty. Beauty, beauty. Alrighty. So we're at 4 2 now, and it looks like we're about just to get to the 40 minute mark. Holy Cod Stevens tries to dispossess the attacker but there we go taverner picks up the ball nice interception there he's got daldy but it looks like he's just going to take it himself and shoot from there uh but coney is able to make the impressive save he just had coney to beat but was unsuccessful in that all right alukami alukami the in swinger to taverner and taverner heads it wide of the net man another highlight can't go like 30 seconds and there we go blackwell Joel Blackwell from the beautiful pass from Richard Howe. Blackwell's first goal in a Rutherfield FC kit. Love to see it. Love to see it. 
again, it was a mistake by like four different players. Yeah, it was pitiful. All right, are we finally getting into halftime here? Boys need a break. It's been quite the first half. Their XG is still technically higher than us, but we are up 5-2, which is insane. So let's keep it up, boys. Let's see uh, what we can do down the stretch. Um, Dolly is hurt. That is less than ideal. All right, you'll come off then. Ro, who's kind of upset with me at the moment. Actually, no, he was actually happy. I was able to, able to resolve his issues. He was complaining about not starting enough, and I said that he's going to be a squad player, and this is your chance to shine. Coney kicks the ball downfield. Uh, Coldy Cloud Stevens goes to Rowe, who has a chance to show who he is, and he blasts the ball off the the woodwork. Nice nice try there, but he should have ran with it a little bit more. He had, he had the space. Gary Banks, the outswinger. Taverner is able to uh, collect the ball, and he, <coughs> excuse me, he's going to take it down the field. He's got lots of room. I hope he passes it to Rowe, but it uh, looks like he'll take it himself and score. Picks the ball up in his own half. He carries it all the way down the field and puts in the back of the net. And that has put a 6-2, or up 6. Or we're up by 4, but it's now 6-2. That was English, man. English. Hard to, hard to say. Hard to speak. So it's looking promising for us at this point. I am going to take Holycott Stevens off. I do not trust that he will <laughs> not be uh, sent off in the next while. And with Hunt, I'm also going to take him off and put on <laughs> Ryan Tackley. I don't know. Why not? Collier now has a chance. Harry Collier. He goes to Taverner. Very delayed pass. Collier gets the ball again. Our 16, 17-year-old. Unable to do anything with it, but uh, now they're on the counter, but they have wasted that counter attack by booting the ball downfield to Richard Howe, who collects the ball. And then he put boots it downfield, but looks like the opposition made a mistake, and Taverner's able to collect, but Taverner is unable to pass the ball successfully there. So now they have another chance at an attack, and they need to attack now. Like, it is 6-2, and there's 12 minutes left in regular time. But here we go. We have a little... Counter now, Taverner. <sighs> he puts it away. He gets the hat trick. And not that we are, uh, should be surprised by this, but that should do it for us. We should be able to uh, finish on a high note. Yeah, beauty. I don't see them scoring five goals in the next little while. I, I don't understand the XG here, though. How is our XG so low, but we have seven goals? Hmm? Doesn't seem right to me. Tavener again, bringing it downfield. He goes to Morris. Did I bring on Morris? I did. Archie Morris scored. He's upset with me. He didn't like... He's saying that I didn't uh, need a promise about strengthening the attackers. I feel like I did. Or it was Jamie Guy and that Perth or Pith guy who was one star burnability, one star potential. <laughs> so there we go. Finally, trophy. We did it. We get a trophy. There they go, walking all the way up. The boys from East Sussex. I don't know if they're actually from or who's actually from that region, but uh, it's nice to see. There I am looking short well done boys well done first of many congratulations lad i'm happy your performance out there of course beauty beauty win love to see it love to see our hard work paying off there we go all celebrating dancing not only do we win we destroyed them we celebrate the double, boom, 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 double, double. Yeah. With Rutherford and April. There we go. 
I will not be going to that. All the journalists can. We've been awarded 750 pounds. Which is good, but. Why are our balance so bad? Ford happy with the win. I am happy that you're happy. Yeah, he did awesome. Azox, who the heck is that? Ooh, that's where we're going next. Who are they interested in? Connor Pierce. Is Connor Pierce on a normal contract with us or what? Offer a new contract. What kind of contract does he have right now, though, first off? Because if someone wants to buy a... Ooh, I got to offer him a new contract. Yeah, offer him something. I I'll sell a player. I just don't want them to go off for free. You know what I mean? All right, that's the end of the season, it looks like. Ah, uh, Birch discusses. Yeah, it's fine. I'm open to discussion. So I'm hoping in this part right here that we're actually going to get the season review. So stay tuned, okay? I'm hoping. I'm hoping we don't have to go too far in the future for season review. Fingers crossed. End of season review. This is what I was hoping was going to come. So perfect. Uh, all righty. So signing in the season looks to be Brandon Taverner, which only got a C. They're content with the deal to sign him. All right, whatever. 8.29. Uh, as we can all see here, we brought in. Why is it not doing it? There we go. Technical difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. 2021, and I still struggle with the computer. Transfers in. There's a lot of guys. How many are still with us, though? That is a different question. Because I think a lot of them have hit the road, Jack. For example, well, all these guys are still here. Tackley's on his way out, I'm pretty sure. Uh, these are all our best ones, so. Yeah, we have a bunch of players out. Not eBay is out, Chris Mills. All right, whatever. Let's just move on here. All righty. So, look at that. We killed it in the league. Obviously, they're excited because we won. Our average home attendance was 22 people or 2% of capacity. Whatever. That will go up as we progress. Uh, what else? Brian Tavener, top scorer in the Montgomery Challenge Cup, which we won. Great. Uh, biggest win, 9 1 against Sporting Linfield. Um, match remember, that would be them. Goal of the season. Who was it? Daldi's goal. I don't know how you watch that. I'm struggling here, folks. All right. Well, that is annoying. I don't know how you do it. Oh, here we go. I, I figured it out. I'm not completely incompetent when it comes to uh, navigating <laughs> this game. All right, we're, we're just going to watch this, okay? Just, just chill for a sec. Oh, Jamie Guy, how I enjoyed you while you were here. But better players came in. Absolute screamer by Dalby there. Absolute screamer. All right, well, I can see why that uh, was a good goal. It was, yeah, like I said, absolute screamer. Love it. All right, let's go to finances. Ooh, sponsorship deal, 703 pounds. Uh, Non-domestic sales amounting to zero pounds of this total. So Brotherfield FC actually does have merchandise, interesting enough, and I will get one of their kits. One of these videos, you'll be seeing me wear it. I just haven't pulled the trigger yet because uh, the shipping portion of it's a pain in the butt, money-wise, to get sent to Canada. Match day commercial and retail. Yeah, our club reputation's obscure. I don't think I've ever seen that before. All right, our best eleven. Again, not surprising here. Daldine, Taverner, Francis, and Collier. 
Morris and Caldecott Stevens. It's literally the guys that we've started in pretty much all the episodes, so not a surprise. Uh, Club Awards, Fans Player of the Season, Taverner Makes Sense, just general overview, 23-year-old. Um, let's see where he's from. Is he from? Oh, he's from London. Okay. And blah, 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 blah. No long-term plans that we have to worry about. Yeah, he's mostly been in non-league, which is awesome for us. Young player of the season, Taverner signing, Taverner. Jack Daldy gets the most goals, which I'm surprised he wasn't more popular, but no, also a, a London lad. Um, And Dan Francis, most assists, 27 assists. Holy cow, Dan Francis, you are amazing. Also from London. A lot of London guys around here. He was at Barnett before. Interesting enough. Hmm. And yeah, Archie Morris is there on there too. Record breakers. Because there's no stats for our players, then yeah, it makes sense that they're in the history for literally everything. Yeah, we did well. We did awesome. Not just well, we did amazing. Our first season in this league, or our first season in this save. Uh, record, record biggest ever win, sure, um, from being season, yes, I know, I'm amazing, let's see what else we have here, club X, club, club vision, Ugh, English man, I can't, club vision, so they want me to play attacking football, direct football, make the most of set pieces, and play counter attacking football, work within the wage budget, sure, and end of next season, <laughs> uh, Southern Combination League Division One promotion by winning the league. Uh, the expectations are so high. They want me to win the league. That seems intense. I can't change it. That's. So this is probably the saddest like hierarchy I've ever seen. With there's no team leaders, Richard Howe, Ryan Tackley, and that is it. Alright, let's uh see what they have to say. Looking at the next season, we have promoted as champions. Yeah, obviously you're gonna be happy with that because that's what their expectation is. You better not be whatever. Whatever. Make some cuts this season. Just in the way, big offers. Reduce the size, quality improve, and that's yeah, it's enough promises for now. Go on, everyone, enjoy your your little holiday. Um, is there not uh gone on holiday for a bit? I'm trying to poach my keeper, my backup keeper. That is, I guess there is no other awards or anything. Probably down that at this level. I'm going to anoint myself as the manager of the season, but, you know, probably not official there. So, once this uh, is finished loading, if there is nothing else, I'll probably leave this video here then, because there is no point continuing with uh, nothing else, right? So, I don't know when this season actually ends, though. The actual season itself hasn't finished, so I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit, and I'll update you if anything comes up. And if I notice that we get to the start of the new season, and there's nothing, I'll end that video there. So stay tuned. So I am just going to leave this video here. Uh, anything that happens before the next season, I will update you, uh, because it doesn't look like there's going to be anything significant uh, moving forward until the season starts. Pretty much all I've done is I set a bunch of preseason matches. Um, yeah, as you can see, a lot of preseason matches. And other than that, yeah, nothing too exciting. I did bring in a, whatchamacallit, oh, what do you call it? I brought in this man, Leo Chambers, a 25-year-old. Mostly he'll be playing at center back just to provide more depth there. Just curious where he's from. Of course, London. And as you can see, he was at West Ham at one point. So pretty cool. 
So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. We'll be back in the next video with the start of the new season. And yeah, our run for the Premier League continues. So please consider subscribing to the channel and see you later.